Nothing to see here. Oh, oh, oh. The police, right the police, there. the police! Hold it. Here! Don't let that away. Take, take the no, take the evidence! Don't forget the evidence! I'm, I'm, ah. that, that'll be good in court. That'll hold up. Don't worry about it. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Job Simulator. So I wasn't really sure if I was going to play any more of this game, because I know we've seen and done pretty much everything there is, but at the same time, I've had a lot of requests from you guys to try all of the game mods at the same time, and that just sounds awesome. It sounds like something's going to break, something is going to go weird with the game. I, I really just can't resist. And you guys are probably wondering, why am I so small right now? Like, why is JobBot even creepier today? Oh, God, stop staring at me like some kind of beeping Tom. Just, just go away. It's for the dollhouse mode, because usually when you use dollhouse mode, you're higher than the room that you're in. You're, you're above the roof, and it's just really weird. So I've calibrated my headset a little bit differently, and this way, I'm going to be kind of medium giant height. But when I don't have it turned on, I'm essentially the height of an Oompa Loompa. Hello, human. Welcome to an accurate simulation of Office Worker. My tiny little job bot. I completely forgot how adorable you are in dollhouse mode and how weird everything else is. My tiny little Trump hands. We did do a little bit of dollhouse mode before, especially for the office, but back then, you know, we had gravity. When you get rid of gravity, things tend to get really freaking weird. Did you just see that? Jobot, I'm pretty sure that just went right through the... It just went right through the wall! Is this place even real? What is real? I can't trust you. Am I a giant human working in a tiny robot office? Can my magical photocopier actually make photocopies of my giant human brain? Come to think of it, I don't really know. We should probably test that out. First thing we're gonna do. Make a perfect copy of my brain, just in case. This seems very real, so you know what? I forgive you. Whoa, that's bouncy. I'm gonna keep that over there out of robot reach for safekeeping. Probably should make a copy of my tiny little hand as well, just in case. Okay, you can also go over there. Just like my mom said, always have a copy of yourself. You can never be too careful. I like to think that that's what I look like. The like JobBot is essentially looking at two hands and a floating brain right now. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a job. This is already super weird. This is so freaking Hello, weird. Human. I'm looking forward to your presentation today on all of the business that we did in the last week. So oh my God. Wants you to do a presentation. You'll need to make some slides. Time to learn about an ancient human technique called winging it. Try using this program in your computer. Wait. You're talking, but it sounds like it's coming from over there. I'm not losing my mind, right? I, I, my video is in stereo, so most of you guys should be able to wear headphones and hear that, but I think the sound is reversed. Oh, it is definitely reversed. It's coming through my left ear. I've only been playing for two minutes. I've already broken the game. Now, hear me out, okay? I see you staring at me, judging, thinking that I have a whole lot of work to do. You just gave me a CD to make the world's tiniest PowerPoint presentation. But first, I really do feel like we need to try out the new game that's sweeping the nation. I call it Bounce the Mug Off the Dummy's Face. It's gonna be a real Fortnite killer, okay? Big with the kids, so the high score is, you know, we'll split it. I think that was probably hey, five. No, you can't play. Yeah, go back to wherever you came from, weird carpet robot. Usually, I would say that it's the troublemakers of the office that are trying to prank me, but this time it is probably gravity, right? Does gravity unplug computers? I honestly don't know, so I'll pop you in there. We're gonna have this PowerPoint presentation done in no time. My controllers are so big that I can't use both hands on the keyboard. Uh, password 101. 101. Oh, I'm already logged in. Okay, screw it. Yeah, they must have thought ahead. So, we're just gonna pick a little bit of everything. This is incredibly difficult to see right now. 
No, no. Oh, come on. I'm too big for this. I can barely see what I'm doing. Oh my god, how am I supposed to give a presentation if I can barely read it beforehand? Okay, you know what? This is fine, right? The best kind of presentations are the ones that you're completely unprepared for. So, you ready to go through this presentation? Here's the clicker. Use the button to go through your slides. Oh, right. And once again, hands aren't really going to allow for this. Jobbot, would your square little bottom please provide me with some assistance? There we go. Okay, you can be good enough. Uh, please, please hold over. Oh, right, you guys are over here. Uh, please hold your applause until the end. And why did you all learn how to become weird toaster ventriloquists all of a sudden? It's freaking me out. But yeah, you could be good enough. Not you, but the two of you could definitely be good enough. Good enough for what you're asking? Well, the answer to that is uh, cheesy memes. You can be good enough for cheesy memes, okay? This office has gone on this way for long enough. I'm not entirely sure what it is we do here. We could be selling nuclear bombs. We could be selling paper. I'm, I'm not 100% on it. But right now, what's important is the future. And the future is in memes. The meme market is exploding. Oh, it's just gone up dramatically in years, okay? If you get on the meme train early, you, you can go viral. You could be a real internet sensation. So in conclusion, if you're not a memer, you may be fired after lunch. That was very business. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that went well. I just took a dramatic turn for this company and wasn't even really planning that. Ooh, okay, that was a close one. Yeah, let's get another job in here. Where'd job bot go? I, I still can't get used to the fact that I'm absolutely massive hey, up human. here. Bot number 10110 is retiring tomorrow. We wanted to give them a parting gift. Everyone's pitching in. Why don't you give me something you'd like to contribute? No, not 10110. He's so young, though. What exactly does robot retirement entail? Do you guys just become CRT monitors or what? That, that, that's kind of confusing. Oh, you want me to give you something? Here you go. Oh, how thoughtful. I'm sure they will. Appreciate it. Yeah, he'll need them to be able anyway, to see anything in his old age. Could type up a quick card to go with this? It would make it a lot more... Personal. Oh, come on. Do you realize how difficult it is for somebody my size to use a computer like this? This isn't a very giant, friendly office, okay? I'm going to speak to my rep about that. Resume, thank you note, get well soon note, birthday note, haiku, angry apology, love letter. What do you want from me? Um, I'm just going to give you a haiku. How about that? That's all you're getting from me. I enjoy my work. The cubicle is my home to live is to job. Okay, yeah, you know what? I think that's a print. Hopefully you'll just accept anything. That looks good. Hand it to I'll handle the rest. Thanks for helping out. I wasn't sure that would work. Why is everybody so confused when they're leaving? They're not 100% sure which way to go. Very awkward. Also, I just realized I'm so big, I can technically... Oh. Heidi ho there, neighborinos. What you guys doing over here? What are the odds I can screw with Howdy his com neighbor? computer? Howdy, hey, neighbor. That was a pretty nice throw. Oh, what a what throw? Careful. Careful. Oh, it's permanently on. Why is yours permanently on, but mine's constantly getting turned off? That's a very weird view of my office. I didn't even know there was a clock behind me. It's five after five. I should be able to... To leave? What does this say? Can't believe you take the time to read this. Oh, you can just go straight to hell. Job Bob, we're probably about halfway through this episode, wouldn't you say? Would you, uh, maybe like some lunch? Do you, you want some num nums? No? Okay, fine then. See if I care. How about you just give me another job? We'll keep it professional. I see how it is. <laughs> Trying to make friends here. Uh, things aren't going too well. What happened to your we glasses? We need to find a couple bots we can let go. Take a look at these employee evaluations. I told them, man, they might be fired after lunch. We just had lunch. Time to get firing. 
<laughs> so, who isn't a meme we're at this office? We have Bandit Bot, we got Safari Bot, we got Fancy Bot, we got Cowboy Bot. You know what? I don't think any of them are. I'm just gonna fire everybody. How about that? Can I do that, I wonder? Oh, I was saving up to buy a new hard drive. That, that wasn't yours. That, that wasn't yours. Get back here. First my stapler gems, and now this? Yeah, it's a rough life, man. I'll, I'll see you later. What about these two? No? I guess I'll just get theirs later. What does that say? Ideas. Optimize. Synergize. Profit. Eyes. Merge more. Do more job. <laughs> Why would they go with all the eyes and then just give up halfway through? I also have never seen that there's a uh, fire extinguisher over there. Yet? What are the odds that I could reach that? Excuse me, buddy. Just gonna get in your personal space here real quick. Yeah, you're smelling great today, like dust and static. I'm just gonna see if I can... Uh, 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 nope, nope. So, oh, lost my hand. Um, um, I'm not controlling that anymore. Hand, hand, please come back to me. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's not do that again. Well, like I was saying before we were interrupted by all the work, some of us aren't too good for lunch, so maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just release the tiniest of pukes all over you. I still love the fact that the little pieces bounce off of his face and come back because of all the mods. God, this is so weird. Okay, give me another job. Bring something else in here. Look at my little cactus. It looks like a Digimon. In the office, co-workers would converse around the liquid dispenser. Nobody cares. Man, did you hear that? Bot 2272 got fired? Man, that's notable. Hey, Bill, did you see the sports event on TV last night? It was pretty touchdown. I keep thinking you idiots are behind me. Will you stop throwing your voice? And what's with the ditto? <laughs> you guys are freaking me out. Okay, you want me to drink some water to leave me alone? Pouring water is difficult when you have no gravity. Is that is that all I get? <laughs> I'm thirstier than that. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, down the hatch. Check out these photos of my many children. Do you bear children, human? <laughs> I can't see the photos. <laughs> I can't handle this. This is there we go. Okay. Yeah, they're lovely. No, I don't bear children. Leave me the hell alone. What do you want? Oh, photos. Great. Great. Back to the computer. Um, which ones have I not used before? I, I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, why not? What, what is this? I think this is me and JobBot's kid. That, that, dude, listen, man. I didn't touch your wife. Okay. You see? There you go. See you later. Jobbot, once again, the plan for this episode was to do one or two tasks and then move on to another job. But I find myself wanting to finish this because I'm having way too much fun. Why don't we let the, the magic one ball decide, huh? Should we move on to another job? Ask again. You ask again. Another task. How about that? Where, where are you going? Where are you running off to? Whoa. Yeah, hey, look. I've got some papers I need you to shred. It has to be you for legal reasons. I don't really want to get into it. Here, just look in the case. Shred everything. Just get rid of it. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, this is the world's cutest little shredder, but at the same time... Oh, okay, just kidding. Haha, <laughs> dummy. Do I need to explain the joke to get a smile out of you or something like that? It was funny. I made you think I was losing my human hand. Oh, you guys don't have hands. You, you probably didn't get the punchline. Okay, well, um, what if I photocopy the evidence? I don't think we've ever tried that before. I'm just going to make a copy of everything, and then when the police come, I'll give them the copy. It's ingenious. I'm going to keep all of the evidence. That's actually a really good idea. I'm amazed I haven't... I haven't thought of that before. Having some issues with the photocopier. Come on, there we go. I'm also curious what happens if I try to remove gravity, right? Because there is no gravity right now, but we've come to realize that if you do the first swipe over and then remove it, well, it just doesn't make anything now. <laughs> That's super weird. Okay, and, and we'll, we'll take one copy of the money. How about that? The quick little copy. No, come on, come on, photocopier. Need a copy of the money. 
Show me the money. There we go. Okay, and the rest can go in here. Good. Uh, let's see. Here's the other thing. I just found out that for insurance reasons, you can't actually have this much stuff in your cubicle. So, uh, you're going to need to get rid of some of that, too. Company books and stuff like that? Yeah, I'll, I'll toss them over into Steve's. His cubicle is snowing. Oh, the Digimon cactus has got to go. Gotta go. All right, that'll do. Turn off the shredder when you're done. Ooh, that was a close one. All right, carry on. Nothing to see here. Oh, oh, oh. The police, right the police, there. the police. Hold it. Here. Don't let that take, take the evidence. Don't take the evidence. Don't forget the evidence. I'm, I'm, ah. That, that'll be good in court. That'll hold up. Don't worry about it. You're going away for a long time, boss bot. Never gonna see you again, that's for sure. Hello, human. I am CEO bot. Here's the thing. Boss bot needs to go away for a while. And you've been doing a really good job. So I'd like to offer you a promotion. <gasps> Me? Happy promotion to human. human. Happy Happy promotion. Promotion. Yeah. This would mean so much more to me if it sounded like you now were in front of me and not behind me. What about the candles, huh? Um, wait, do I do this? I don't know how to, how to blow it. Okay, you know what? What if I just... Sorry, human. Looks like there's not enough cake for you. Here you go, human. I got you a present. Thank you. Oh, I thought the present was the cake. There's, there's plenty of cake for me, guys. Don't even worry about it. Because now you're within reach. That's coming out of your next paycheck. No, no, no. This is my last day, okay? I'm getting promoted, and then I'm done. I'm gone. I'm out of here. You can suck candle. Uh, what was in this? This is beautifully wrapped, by the way. Thank you. I'm even gonna do a little, uh... Yeah. Um... I thought it was a bar of gold. Now Not that you're quite. the boss of this department, I'll leave it to you to do the honors. I wanted to blow in his face, but I couldn't because it's kind of difficult to figure out exactly where your mouth is. <laughs> I think we managed to wing it. Um, where was it? Oh yeah, we're closing. Yay! Give, give me the give me the hat. Aw, oh, crap. But but I'm the boss. We're just right. Oh, hey! Hooray! It's five o'clock. Work is over. Are you the music guy? Did you just you cut it off before you left? To ask you to come in on Saturday. Well, there you have it, human. I hope this has given you a better idea of what it was once like to office worker. I'm confused. Didn't that guy well, leave? You know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want. Oh, don't worry. I didn't miss that. You just teleported. You were standing there and celebrating and stuff, and then hop disappeared, came back. I, I don't get it. I will stuff my face with with Cheerios, essentially. Let's be honest. These are not big enough to be donuts. I keep hitting myself in the face with my giant hand, so maybe I'll just, uh... There we go. Oh, they're not infinite? Are you kidding me? Every other time I've gotten a box of donuts, they were infinite. They were bottomless donuts. And now when I get a promotion, you can only go and pay for a six pack. Are you kidding me? You cheap little TV. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Job Simulator, guys. And I keep meaning to do a lot more in these videos because it's like I said, I know some people have kind of gotten tired of Job Simulator. This is like my 17th or 18th episode or something like that. I've done pretty much everything there is to do in the game. You guys have seen this before, but I end up getting into it and it's such a weird perspective and bouncing stuff off of things and low gravity and being so gigantic. I, I just kind of get lost and then end up playing a lot more of one job than I had expected. So if you guys want to see all of the job mods for the convenience store or the chef or something like that then leave a comment let me know and if people aren't interested then uh, maybe we'll just have to wait a little bit i'm pretty sure vacation simulator is coming soon and you know i'm gonna be playing a lot of that thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time